Introducing the Intuitive Hour, Awaken Your Inner Voice, with psychic medium, author, and intuitive life coach, Michelle Beltran. The Intuitive Hour will empower you to learn how to magnify the powers of your intuitive voice. Listen in and expand your understanding of what it means to be psychic and how to awaken, amplify, and trust your inner voice. From wherever you are today on this planet, I'm so pleased you have taken some time to create the space to visit today. Welcome to the Intuitive Hour. I'm your host, Michelle Beltran. Today we're continuing our discussion about sensibilities, and most specifically, we're talking about the gift of receptive discernment also known as clear cognizance, meaning clear knowing. Receptive discernment is an awareness of information without the benefit of previous knowledge or facts. It is very much like that gut sense, that inner knowing that we all have. Receptive discernment, unlike other psychic aptitudes, comes without a corresponding physical response. It's strictly the calm assurance and strong emotion of something the discerner, meaning you, knows he or she cannot prove. However, time and circumstance often reveal the truth of his or her statements. Receptive discernment can be powerful and impactful because it requires no interpretation. This is one of the psychic aptitudes most often dismissed because it comes without warning or recognizable reason. It appears to come out of the blue, without a realization of where the information came from or how to defend its authenticity. Well, everyone has experienced this. In flow of information, so to speak, few believe it to be reliable. When strengthened, this ability will happen more often and more strongly. Consequently, the discerner's information will be seen as more credible. It's so very important for you to trust yourself when receiving any any form of inner guidance and to evaluate the information in terms of how often it comes to you and how often it has been right. You will be giving credibility to your inner perceptions and discernment. The mind sometimes taps into things that can't be known through ordinary physical means. So when this happens, people say such things as, I don't know, it just felt right, or it just didn't feel right to go in there. So this kind of psychic knowledge may be a residual form of our evolutionary past when we were defenseless animals in need of extra protection, allowing us to survive as a species are our powers of mind and our ability to trust our feelings. Feelings we now commonly refer to as our inner voice. So receptive discernment is different than everyday thoughts, feelings, or notions. And as your psychic ability matures, you'll be able to tell the difference between a regular thought and receptive discernment. This gift presents itself as inspired ideas, dreams, or automatic writing, and it often presents during meditation or while giving or receiving a psychic reading. The information may appear to be a gut feeling or a sense that you know something but you aren't sure how you know it. Messages may also be received unconsciously. They may come in the form of creativity. These feelings or emotions will correctly guide you if you pay attention. Your emotions are the best compass to discern credible information. Do trust that. So to enhance receptive discernment, 
Focus on seeing yourself as separate from any message that comes in. Resist the temptation to interpret. Just look from the outside in. Be an observer. Messages emanating from your ability to receptively discern may seem to come from nowhere, may seem spontaneous, and most often have little to do with what you're thinking at any given moment. Receptive discernment information and insights are of a high vibrational frequency and transcend ego. If you notice low vibrational thoughts of fear, worry, doubt, or self-sabotage when you tune in to this ability, you're failing to connect to your gift of discernment. It may take time to understand receptive discernment messages, but that is okay. The knowing will come when it is ready to do so. So I'd like to share with you a tool for developing this gift through automatic writing. Take a moment to formulate a question you desire to know an answer to. Say the question out loud. As the observer, start writing. Write down what comes naturally and easily. It may be words or sketches or even what seem like mere scribbles. It may come in a picture you are inspired to draw. Let the information come and simply write it down. Remember, you're an observer to all the information presented. Repeat this three times on three separate sheets of paper, giving yourself about two to three minutes for each writing. Set the writing aside and return to it later to evaluate and interpret what you have written and where your answer is in the writing. If you've drawn images, be sure to turn your paper to view the images from different perspectives. So how do I know I'm clear cognizant, you ask? How do I know I have the gift of receptive discernment? Pay attention to your language. If receptive discernment is a strong ability in you, you might find yourself saying, I just knew that plan was going to turn out that way. As opposed to, what I hear you saying about that plan is. Or you might say, as I consider this project, I just know going to be great, as opposed to, as I consider this project, I'm hearing you say. So if you choose the former word arrangement, you are likely a receptive discerner. This information comes with certainty, but you can't explain fully why, and there is no logic to the sense of knowing. If you chose the latter, you are likely more strongly clairaudient. Have you ever been a part of an event? And as it unraveled, you knew immediately it was going to be a blunder. You might have said to yourself, oh, wow, I've made a mistake. I knew it. Why didn't I pay attention to that? So if you tend to have experiences of knowing, having a sense of something that you just, again, cannot explain, that seem to manifest out of nowhere, then you are indeed claircognizant. It's common to have two or three of these abilities present together, as we've discussed before. As you grow in your learning, you'll identify your strengths and how to interact with the world around you using each of them. Let's take a moment now to talk about the difference between receptive 
discernment thoughts or downloads versus your own thoughts. The two are very different. And as your ability grows, you'll be able to tell the difference. Here's a few things to consider. As your logical left brain is in motion and thinks, your conscious mind is doing the work. Your conscious mind and thoughts are one. This is conscious thought, and you are one with it. You might even find yourself overtaken by it. An example may be when you're organizing an event and all the surrounding details in the coming weeks around that event. As you plan this event, thoughts are logical. They're linear. You plan one aspect of the event after the other after the other. In contrast to this, when you're receiving something through your receptive discernment gift, your all-knowing consciousness is at work. In this space, you are an active observer of whatever thought is presenting. It is not logical. It is not linear. The, thro the thought just drops in out of nowhere not in line with a previous thought you just had. As an observer of this impromptu information that just pops in, you are not creating it as you do in your planning, thinking, logical, left brain mind space. Messages of clear cognizant or receptive discernment inspiration come from nowhere. They are spontaneous feeling and most often have little to do with what you are thinking about in the given moment. All right, so at this juncture, you are very well aware that meditation is an extremely essential tool for allowing information to flow through you and for developing your psychic and intuitive abilities. I'd like to go ahead then and invite you to download a free audio meditation. This is located at michellebeltran.com at the Media and Events tab. This meditation is going to assist you in opening up this receptive discernment, otherwise known as claircognizant gift. We have indeed come to the close of our episode today. Thank you once again for creating the space for this wonderful time. I look forward to seeing you all next Monday. Have a wonderful week. Thanks for listening to the Intuitive Hour. If you're inspired to take your intuitive development to the next step, be sure to enroll in Michelle's newly released Kickstart Your Intuition e-course at michellebeltran.com.